you've been on a lot of different teams with a lot of different personnel. What, what difference does it make, even as a defensive player, when you have that quarterback who's a star who's playing at a high level? You know, what difference can that make for an entire team in your experience? Um, I think when, you, when your quarterback is very confident, it rubs off on the whole team. You know, previously p playing with Peyton Manning, you know, just, just by him stepping in the locker room, the resume that he has, you know, um, you know the, the his preparation, you know his leadership, and uh, he just requires everybody around him to be great, and it rubs off in the locker room. And um, you know that's something I talked to Robert about is just you know having the presence, you know, not just being one of the guys. You know the team goes as far as the quarterback goes. I mean, uh, you can have a great defense, you can have a great O line, good receivers, but if the quarterback's not out there leading the charge, then um, you know, you won't be successful. So, uh, you know, it's a lot of pressure, but I mean, you know, he, w he wouldn't be our starting quarterback if he couldn't do that. How would you describe the depth uh, of that defensive line and, and how do you expect that to help you guys? I know they made a priority of trying to improving there, um, but where do you see it? Uh, we're very deep, but I think what makes us unique is that everyone brings something different to the group. You know, myself, you know, I'm a run stopper. I take up a lot of room in the middle. You got Hatcher, you know, he's like a savvy veteran, him and Kedrick. Then you got Pyle, who's very explosive, you know, moves side to side very quickly. Uh, you got Bake, who can give you a little bit of everything. You got Ricky Jean, who's, who's just athletic in every phase of the game. So, um, you know, when different guys are out there, you're going to get different things. And, uh, you know, we'll have a wave of guys during the game and, and during practice, and, they, and it gives the O-line trouble because they never get the same thing over and over. How much you guys seem to have some versatility up front too. You have the ability to two gap. You have Steven and Jason who can get up field right away. How much does that help kind of change things up defensively and maybe cause some different sort of problems for the offense? Yeah, it's going to be very difficult because, um, like you said, those guys are penetrating, being disruptive, and you got fast linebackers behind us. You know, you got two safeties, you know, that come downhill and tackle running backs. You know, just like linebackers, and then you got someone like myself just. You know, taking on blocks, shedding blocks, and um, you know, being disruptive in my own type of way. So um, it's a lot of versatility, and uh, you know, I, I can I, when you when I describe our defense, I say it's organized chaos. You know, everyone, you know, everyone's in the right place, but it's just it's just like maniacs, all eleven maniacs running to the ball, and uh, that's the mentality that we want to have, and um, you know, that's what we're out there practicing. Everybody getting to the ball, and and uh, everybody being disruptive. Terrence, what what's your uh thought on Chris's career arc. You know him really well. He went from undrafted guy to ha having built himself up to last year where he was a starter, played well at nose. Ironically, your signing kind of may knock him from the starting lineup, even though he should play a lot. I mean, what, what do you make of, of how he's uh, kind of risen here the last four or five years? Well, Chris, Chris is a very confident guy. You know, um, obviously knowing him since we were, ch since we were children. Um, you know, came out of high school, you know, I was, I, didn't, I had like two offers. He had like a hundred offers, you know, um, you know, I ended up getting drafted. He didn't get drafted. So, you know, our careers kind of flip flop, but you know, we found a way to get back together. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just proud to see him out there working. You know what I mean? I'm, I was proud to see how he played last year to finally get in the rhythm, finally get on the field a lot. And, um, you know, I knew he was capable of, you know, obviously coming out, you know, he was undrafted because of whatever red flags he had. But um, he's definitely a guy who, you know, uh, has the ability to be a top player in his league. The offensive line last year was much maligned. And, uh, you know, it's early right now. But, but what do you see from them so far at this point? Uh, I, see a, I see a group that's very together. Um, you know, Trent and Corey are going to lead that group. And, um, you know, right now, they're, I think they're building to all be on the same page. Obviously, with the new coach. You know, um, they probably got the hardest practice out of any group. You know, they're the first group out there. And uh, that's what you expect from the O-line. You expect them to be, you know, the hard-nosed group, the blue-collar group. You know, I, I think all O-linemen are dirt bags, but, uh, you know, I think that's – they take pride in that, actually. So, um, you know, we got a good group. They got a good group. And, you know, as long as, as, long as we're handling our business in the trenches, it'll make everybody's job easier. Um, Chris Baker was just telling me that you were a wide receiver in high school, uh, so I wondered what, what, what type of wide receiver, <coughs> receiver you were. And the other question is, 
no one on this team seems happier than Chris Baker. Has he always been that outgoing, fun-loving, uh, sometimes silly guy? Well, I was, uh, yeah, I was a wide receiver in high school. You said that like you were surprised, but I was very, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I played, I played wide receiver, low tight end. I was actually all state at wide receiver, and uh, you know, uh, Chris always tried to to mimic me, but Chris has always been that size. I just got this big, you know. Uh, like in college, but in high school, uh, Chris has Chris actually been that size since like fifth grade. So he's been O lineman, D lineman his whole life. But um, you know, Chris, so he he he's he's just happy about life. He's high off life, and um, you know, like I said, I'm very I'm very proud of him, and uh, you know, uh, we're we're just gonna have a lot of fun this year, especially with two personalities like me and Chris. How do those skills that you had in high school to play other positions? How does that? translate to your game now I mean you seem to for not a lot of big guys seem to have the footwork that you do up there yeah uh, I think playing basketball playing different positions in high school definitely helped with my foot speed and my hand quickness um but I mean if you look at all the big guys that played my position you know Will Fork, Casey Hampton um Jamal Williams you know big guys in the middle Sean Rogers those type of guys you know uh are special because of their foot speed and their hand speed, and that's something that I've watched, and I've watched over and over and over. I watch old film, new film on guys, and um, one thing I always notice about is they're always in the right place. Their feet, their feet and their hands are accurate, and uh, somebody's here to ruin this. How does it feel to play with Slade? I don't know yet, we'll see. <laughs> How does it feel to be here with your best friend? Uh, it's great, I mean, I've, uh, I just feel like everything happens for a reason, you know what I mean? And uh, obviously he got married, you know, uh, he turned it in really quick. I'm still holding on and uh, I, was the, I was the best man. I was on the visit, so it was only right. Do you really have Bridgestone tires on your car? Yeah, they're free. Oh, yeah, they're free. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Terrence, so over here. Um, the capital punishment nickname, what's the true origins of it? And why did you all decide to embrace it uh, and put that kind of pressure of expectation on you? Well, we have a very silly group chat, the D-line room. And, um, you know, I told the group I was going on Sports Nation and I was like, uh, give me a name. Somebody give me a name, something, uh, you know, get people riled up about, get the fans into it. And, uh, you know, one of the guys text capital punishment. I can't tell you who really did it. But uh, right now, we'll just say Hatcher came up with it. He can't, he can't get any credit for it yet. But for right now, we're just going to get the credit to Hatch.